Welcome to Wallatopia. We continue to look at Roik Wallets. The company has a catch line it uses, portable functionality. Well, we'll look at that today with Roik's Zipcoin wallet. So let's get into it. With all the Roik wallets, they come in a very sturdy box. It's got kind of some texture to it, kind of like that. And it looks like a microfiber pouch here. And here's the wallet. Mm, this is burgundy with gray. You can see the zip portion up here, right there. We open this up. Kind of got this open face billfold action going on here. Let's look a little closer. Good reinforcement here. Various layers. Feels good. And most Rook wallets are kind of stiff. This one, uh, you know, but you, they're still pliable. They're not that bad. Now into the feature review of the Roik Zipcoin wallet. Now Roik produces RFID in their wallets. Yeah, I know. Not the greatest, but this exterior one right here. This exterior pocket, this does not have RFID in it, so it provides a tap-capable opportunity for you. Everything else on the inside is RFID. So if we move to the interior, we have one slot here on the left, another card slot here on the right. And if we open it up, this is an open billfold design. We are starting to see more of these, and that's where your cash would go. And then, of course, the main feature is this zip capability, and that's a pouch for coins. Could be keys, you know, any other small items would fit in here just fine. It's fairly deep and it uh, provides that capability for you. And there's not a lot of uh, material beyond the leather here. I and mean, that's just really so it can stretch and expand. And you've got this gusseted portion right here to go along with it. And so that is a review of the features of the Roik Zipcoin wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. All right, fascinating because of the precision in the cuts on this particular wallet. Now the euros, this is made in Europe, all the de denominations work as well as that 50 and 100 note. Now you saw that uh, with all the rest of them, they're just a little too long. You know, you're know, you gonna have to fold them, the US dollar in particular. Uh, the pound worked except for the 50. Now the 50 again is going away next year, so it should be just fine. So we had four cards in there, five slips of cash, depending on which currency we were testing, and I threw two coins in there. Now, of course, three cards, five is reasonable. The company says it can hold up to nine cards. And of course, being the zip coin, you can also put many different things in here besides coins, and the two coins are in there uh, just fine. You notice I kind of struggled a little bit once it opened to you know, kind of close it. And so I wanted to make sure there weren't any issues here. And it could have just been the first time usage, but it seems to be functioning just fine now. This is designed and manufactured in Spain. It's handcrafted using premier leather, whatever that means. I couldn't find or determine really what that meant exactly or the tanneries they use, but it, it is a good quality wallet to the feel. And smell. Yeah, and it smells good too, so really no issue there. Also comes in nine colors. Look at here, nine colors to choose from. That's all pretty good. Now let's talk about the zipper for a minute. I can't determine the manufacturer of this wallet zipper because you're always looking for leading zipper vendors like YKK, SBS, or Riri. Uh, you know, not that the manufacturer necessarily matters, but the materials they use do. If you think about the durability of a zipper and what you're trying to get with a purchase, if a zipper goes bad, the whole thing goes bad. Now I think metal is more durable than this plastic one we see here. It's a little more nuanced than that, so don't automatically believe that since it's a resin-based zipper that it makes it less durable. 
All right, moving on. It's priced for $70, roughly 59 euros. That's direct from their site, but Roik wallets are also available on eBay in the United States. They don't ship from Europe to the US, so eBay is your best choice to get this inside the States, which I've got the links below. Uh, from a usability perspective, it's very thin, something I think uh, I would enjoy carrying in my front pocket. It's easy to pull cards in and out, just your thumb, which is why we have this corner here. That's good usability that's been expressed in the design. Get your thumb, pull the card, thumb card, that works very nicely. And they're not gonna fall out due to these tight tolerances that are in here. They just stay here. Of course, the card, the coins are gonna move around a bit, but, uh, but that's to be expected. It measures 3.7 by 3 by 0.55, and it weighs 44 grams. Not unreasonable with this. From a perception perspective, they have a three-year warranty, which is nice. They back their product, and it's, the whole company, Roik, is, was created by two 30-year-olds, uh, Rosa and Eric, never liked to carry the cumbersome or heavy wallets, and like all things, mother of invention, uh, they said, well, I can't find what I want, I'll make what I want here. So they designed a very thin, comfortable, and less cumbersome wallet in their mind. The entire production of Roik wallets is carried out by hand in a workshop in Ubrecht, a land uh, with a long tradition of production of leather products, really clear back to the remainders of the Arab past. The artisans uh, who produce them have been working for four generations on small leather goods like this. So it's it's really a quality product. A lot of people like Roik's, and uh, I, I'm a fan of them as well. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of four, and perception of three. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. And we also have the Roik Avenue wallet in our inventory, so if you'd like to see that review, please put a comment below, and I'll add you to the vote to move that up faster. See if these other videos interest you. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next review. Bye.